back in Grounded, we're going to be going over the meal prep and the utility options that are available in regards to the objects that you create for your base. And we're going to start with the water base systems and some other little details along the way, such as with this canteen. So great. So first up, we have this dew collector. This is a very helpful thing because dew is water and it is a clean, healthy water source that you're going to want to collect so you don't have to drink out of the weird pools on the ground or have to scavenge out in the wilderness in order to find water. It's kind of a big deal because it collects and also stores it for you too, which is really neat. So here are what you need to collect and use to build said dew collector. Uh, the spider silk is going to be the hard one. You actually got to go into a spider area and collect the webbing or maybe kill some spiderlings because the big spiders are quite a bit tougher to deal with unless you're a hero that can take out the big spiders. I mean, if that's you, not a big deal at all. So next up we have the smoothie machine. So you make the smoothie machine using these items with the grub goop being the hardest thing to collect, the acorn top you get from the big tree all around it, the grub group, you gotta dig into the ground and you gotta basically collect these little grub creatures that come out of it. The smoothie, you put three different items together and you create all kinds of weird concoctions that will either assist or perhaps not assist you. And you get to kind of play around with that. Uh, your memories will be memorized within the system in case you wanna go back and make something that was really cool. It's just kind of a, a neat little system here in regards to having some fun with the kind of liquids and stuff you can consume within the game. I guess it's also worth mentioning that we have this water collector, and this is where you can store water if you don't want to have to go out into the wilderness in order to get uh, water. You can kind of see how you build that uh, here. The water container, very easy, you just need the acorn shells and a lot of common stuff. And then from there, we're gonna actually show the management. So we got one more kind of building thing to show off. And that is within our, oh, that's the construction area. We got to quickly kind of go into this menu here with our snacks. So this is the canteen. Again, you're needing the grub hide in order to make it. So this little pouch that I have hotkeyed onto my inventory is a very useful thing. You see my water meter is slow. We can drink some water and we're good to go. So you can store water here. You simply tap and, well, the canteen is empty. Or you can hold to kind of scoop up if you want and tap to deposit and we're going to show this a little bit extended in regards to going out into the wilderness in order to collect water even though this isn't the healthiest water source it's the one that's like right nearby so we're going to use it so we can either hold to drink or we can just tap x in order to pick up the water or platform equivalent might be different on pc obviously what you tap so you can see that we've filled this with a little bit of water now we can go back to our base area again clean water guys but uh, I'm just trying to show for this particular example and Siri was activated there my bad then we can come back here and we can deposit the water in see how it's getting more and more filled with water very helpful just in case you want to you know have this water available to you at any point we should also talk about the cooking stand so you just put food in there that you have you actually have to turn it on to kind of get it cooking uh, very essential one of the earlier things that I think you should make it's a good idea to it's not hard these supplies are readily available and it's just a good way to get those you know food sources cooking and being healthy for you to consume this is probably gonna be the first thing you make when it comes to your food eating and you can put anything on there like the gnat stuff all those kind of things it'll highlight what you have available to cook you kind of leave it on there for a bit as it cooks, and then you just pick it up once it's roasted. Very easy going, not hard at all. So here is another very helpful kind of option. It's a bit of a farm. So we have the mushroom garden here. Very easy to make. You just have to let meat spoil, get these essential basic things, including the acorn top. You just got to take a tree trip. You're going to go there for the story. Anyways, collect a bunch of acorn shells. They're so helpful. And then we've got a mushroom garden, and every single day we get a set of four new mushrooms in order to consume. There's no real work involved in regards to keeping this up. And yeah, it's kind of a very helpful thing to get because that is a food source that is just kind of readily available every single day. It's quite a big deal. So we do have two basket options. Uh, they're not too hard to create. So we've got the storage basket and then the storage chest, again, needing acorns for this particular one. The big difference between these two being just the quantity of storage that is present within either of them. 
It's very easy to store things, you just tap the X button. You can also take all if that's your kind of thing. I wish they had more options for like quick picking and everything like that, but that's just the gist of what's available. So no note here, you know, the amount of space you get there in comparison to the amount of space you get here. So it's basically double the space size, but it also does take up a little bit more room within your base area. I don't think we need to go over the workbench because, I don't know, it's just like a basic essential thing you're going to need in the game. And I feel that you should kind of already be at that point that you have that when you are looking into these more complex and advanced creations within the title. This is, yeah, okay, that works fine. So another thing I made here are the two storage options in regards to weed stems and grass planks, because I was getting some complaints last time that I didn't have them set up. I had them thrown into this corner, which is actually kind of smart, so you can kind of mark it off here, hide it back there, and then it's going to be less likely to get taken in, say, a bug raid or something like that. Can I call it a bug raid? I don't know if the community has another term for it, but basically when all of the big disgusting bugs come in and try to wreck all your stuff. Great, so it's very easy to use this. We're going to put the canteen away because we're not using it right now. So we got the weed stems, so you bring in a whole bunch of them. Come over here, same as dropping them on the ground, you just throw them in there. Again, alternatively, you can just kind of drop them on the ground, but they will be loose. And here, they're kind of safely stacked. Again, with the grass planks. Easy going, stack them down. It kind of neatly sorts them. You're able to come to your stacks and take this stuff. Uh, kind of a not a big deal to deal with, but uh, just something that I think is better for organization and so that you don't have all of these things kind of laid out. It's also a little bit easier on the performance of the game, having them stacked like that, because you don't have all these physics items kind of rolling around, if that makes sense. Uh, there's our giant hoop. It's kind of silly. I kind of regret buying it and building it, but, you know, it's it's there now, so that's the giant hoop. But in general, the, the goal was to kind of, you know, just go over the mechanics at play in regards to the meal preparation and the other items present here, so the, the log pallet, you know, in order to put down our logs, and then the plank pallet to put down our planks. Pretty easy creations. I don't think these are too hard for you to make. Kind of basic stuff for structuring your various items. I guess we can also go over the trail marker, which I do feel is a very essential thing within the game. They're not hard to make, and they're really good for highlighting important things on the map. I.e., we've got our home marker right here. It's easy to color code it different ways, whatever you color you want, and a, a bunch of different icons that kind of, I guess, could have different meanings to you, but they're really good for going around the map being like, here's where the food is, here's where, you know, a good home location is, maybe you got a couple different forts here where like the bugs are, this is a danger zone, you know, all those kinds of items, uh, kind of marking them down just so that you are aware of where they're at. See, we've already got some dew collected here. And we can scoop that up that and take really a job. Bad. Yep, nice and easy going in that regard. In general, I, I think they've got a good selection of things that you can kind of build, and I hope this kind of helped. You know, at least kind of went over the different items, what they can do for you. I mean, there's obviously going to be more different contraptions and stuff over time and all that. But I think this covers the, the basics. Oh, I do have to go over the sap catcher. This was another one. So acorn top, ant manibles. You got to go after the bigger ants. They're a little bit tougher, but not a huge deal. And then the placement of them is a little bit interesting. So we're going to go over here to our close uh, sap area. See, we've got little sap particles on the ground there. Well, not on the ground, but coming off the tree. And then we've got this thing here. So basically you place it down and it kind of gives you a, a mark uh, of where it can actually go and it's a, it's a bit awkward quite honestly so we're gonna kind of take that I guess do we have that in the inventory there so we've got this here see how the handle is kind of red there and I don't know if we're gonna be able to quite place it in this vicinity but essentially what should happen is it should kind of turn blue, if that makes sense. Uh, see how it kind of does that there? And that should be an indicator that, you know, this is going to be something that is functional in this area. And I'm sorry I kind of set that there. But as you can see it twitching here, we got the, the blue kind of marker in regards to 
uh, where it is. And I mean, it might be smarter to kind of set this up differently, but you see how it's just like a red kind of marker, but you see how it kind of dips in and being a little bit of a blue one there. So that would be, you know, kind of the ideal place to actually select this particular creation in order for it to actually collect the, the sap that we're after. Uh, you see a little handle there. It also seems a little bit awkward, so I don't know if there's like better placement setups and everything for it, but that's kind of the gist of getting it going. So I, I hope that kind of helps with the, you know, your sap collection. Again, seeing the, the benefit of having the marker on the house here, it, it's very easy to get back. Just so you know, also, that's not my backpack. That's someone that joined and died and quit. So I'm not bothering getting it because I, I don't think it has anything of value. I didn't die and just leave my stuff somewhere as much as I wanted to. I guess I could go over the spike trap too. I mean, it's just kind of a trap you put on the ground. It's not too hard to make. You just need to get the thistles. Uh, which aren't too difficult to obtain and then you kind of put it down somewhere where you think it's gonna Hurt enemies you can hurt yourself on it, too. So, you know be careful I kind of put it here because it seems like creatures go up against the wall a lot in this spot uh, The hit detection just seems to kind of push them there and they haven't been as present since I placed that down So I think that's kind of a good idea of where I had it Why is that thing in here? Uh, I, I didn't anticipate this happening. We're going to try to pretend that it's not here, I guess. Unless it knows I'm here. Uh, so yeah, sometimes you get visitors like giant creatures like that. And you see there's different levels to the stuff we've got to build. But today really was just to focus on your kind of food options. And I hope I have the good stuff available at this point. Keep in mind it's game preview, so some of this stuff could change slightly. Uh, it could get added to and that could change uh, a bit of how you use things But just remember your essentials. I mean, I don't think I need to cover the lean-to or anything like that I, it, It's just the basics But yeah, oh, there's the chair too, like a decoration thing. Oh, these are also helpful. You kind of Get the slime mold stuff and then you put it on the wall and it acts as a bit of a, a light So you seeing that with the plant lamp and the sconce too. They're little things that you can just turn uh, on and off here very helpful. See, I I don't know quite what's going on with the spider here, but I guess for entertainment I could try to take it out if it's stuck in the wall or something. So yeah, I gotta watch out for the stamina. Yep, spiders are absolutely terrifying in this game. There we go, got the spider. Never beat one before, but I guess it took it getting stuck in my living quarters for me to be able to do that. So that's a little bit terrifying and unsettling. Seems like I put this right on a bit of a spawn path, which is sort of crazy. But we're gonna also show off, I guess, the analyzing. If you're not familiar with that in the game, like this is so important for like the science of this game is you go after you get everything done and you analyze it on the machine. This should be pretty basic at the point of you coming and watching this particular video, but you get so many charges. And it basically allows you to, you know, discover new crafting items, new stuff you can do in the game. So I, I think that's kind of uh, a helpful thing. And in general, I hope you found this to be a, a slightly insightful sort of thing. And also a strange one in the fact that there was just randomly a spider in my house that I've never really seen that happen before in this area. Usually lots of the larvae and everything like that, but nothing quite at the caliber of a spider, so that's a little bit unsettling, needless to say. Oh, we can show off the lighting and the cooking. You know, you just light it. Sometimes it goes out. But yeah, that's the gist of uh, grounded uh, you know, utilities and food preparation items.